Happy Sunday, everyone. Steve's forecast in less than two minutes. But first, here are WPTV's top stories. Port St. Lucie detectives are investigating a homicide. Police got a call just after midnight about someone trying to hurt a patient at the Tiffany Hall Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. A nurse says she walked past a room and noticed a man sitting on a 95 year old patient's chest with a pillow over the man's face. When police arrived, the patient was pronounced dead. The man the nurse saw ran away and has not yet been found. The Palm Beach police chief wants state lawmakers to change Florida's open carry law so certain places are gun free. Gun advocates rallied against the proposal yesterday. The law allows people to open carry while fishing, hunting, camping or traveling to and from those activities. The proposal prohibits open carry within 1500 feet of schools, public buildings, places of worship and guarded beaches. A reminder, classes resume tomorrow for students in Martin and St. Lucie counties and classes begin on Tuesday in Palm Beach, Indian River and Okeechobee counties. Remember, police will be ticketing drivers caught texting or holding their phones while driving in school zones. Well, good morning, everyone. It is going to be a cool day today, but a sunny day. Temperatures heading into the mid and into the upper 60s. The winds will be active, though, so uh, temperatures will feel cooler than what the actual thermometer says. So uh, certainly plan on, on a cool day today. Now, as we head into tonight, temperatures will be even colder than they are this morning into the Treasure Coast and back across the lake. We'll see temperatures in the 30s. Otherwise, in the Palm Beaches, temperatures in the lower 50s. Then as we head into the next several days, temperatures slowly but surely do start to warm on up. But the winds pick up as well by the end of the week. For breaking weather and other news sent straight to your smartphone, download our free WPTV mobile app. Have a great day.